disconnected from God? Then join Riverview as we reconnect with God. For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. And then you will call upon me and come and pray to me and I will hear you. That's a promise from Jeremiah. But I love how the book of Revelation begins. He says the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show to his servants the things that must soon take place. And he made it known by sending his angel to his servant John, who bore witness to the world, to the word of God, and to the testimony of Jesus Christ, even to all that he saw. Blessed is the one who reads aloud the words of this prophecy, and blessed are those who hear and who keep what is written in it, for the time is near. You see, God knew what was coming at us, and he begins his book, The Gospel of Jesus Christ, by reminding us that the things that are happening do so because liberation is coming our way. See, many times we look at the world and we wish that the old days were here, when things were simpler, when we knew what, was, when we knew what tomorrow would bring. But Jesus tells us, not to worry. He says these things will happen so that you can actually begin to experience freedom. Through the tough times that lay ahead, you'll begin to experience liberation. Jesus warns you and I of what is to come. Not just what is to come, but how to get through. The focus of the book of Revelation is not the it's not the beasts or the, or the actual trials that are coming, but how God guides his people through the toughest, toughest times that earth has ever experienced. He not only guides his people through, but he comes out victorious. See, in chapter one, we find the key. We read, we hear, and we do what is written. Our main verse today is from Jeremiah, and that was written when the people were strangers, slaves, immigrants, not wanted in other parts of the earth. But through the prophet Jeremiah, God reminds his people, the plans that I have for you are better than the plans that you have for yourself. It's incredible that many people wanted to give up, to give in, to give out, they were on the edge of losing their identity as people of Christ. But God reminds them, through the trials and the tribulations, I will liberate you. I will bring you out as better people. So as we begin this week, don't forget, for I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans for welfare and not for evil to give you a future and a hope. And then you will call upon me and come and pray to me and I will hear you. <coughs> he has a plan and he's taught you the principles to help you get through life. It's only a prayer away. Father in heaven, we know that we will have trials today. We will have trials next week. We will have trials in the future but we know that your promises are sure and we know that you will see us through we look forward to that day when this old earth will pass away when there will be a new heaven and a new earth wherein dwells righteousness may that day soon come i pray in jesus name